Hello children and welcome to another session of Children's Liturgy. Today, we celebrate the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let us listen to the Gospel reading. Jesus chose 72 disciples and sent them out in pairs to all the towns and villages he would visit, saying, Take nothing with you, and wherever you are welcome, make the first word you speak be, Peace be with you. Stay if you are invited to, and eat and drink whatever you are given. Cure the sick and share the good news of God's love with everyone. If you find people unfriendly or unkind, leave them in your village and go elsewhere. Soon the disciples returned and told Jesus about the marvelous things they had seen and done. Jesus said to them, Be happy, indeed, because your names are written in heaven. Have you ever gone on a holiday, either here in Singapore or overseas? Whether it is for a short staycation or a long holiday, we will all need to at least pack some clothes and toiletries. During the recent March holidays, I brought three of my children for a two-day, one-night staycation at a local hotel. Although it was only for a single night, we actually brought two sets of luggage for the trip. We packed enough clothes for all of us, pyjamas, swimsuits, goggles, shoes, sandals, power banks and chargers. It seemed quite a lot considering that the hotel we were staying at would have provided things like towels, some toiletries, and even toothbrushes and toothpaste. But just in case, I made sure I had packed enough to ensure that I had all the things we needed to have a comfortable stay. And we did! In today's Gospel, we hear that Jesus sent 72 disciples out in pairs to different parts of the country to share the good news with the people. There was nothing unusual about that task, except that Jesus had told them to take nothing with them. Now isn't that a strange instruction? How could the disciples be heading into the unknown without any form of preparation? This was not a holiday trip where the place they were staying would have most of the things they needed. The disciples would be travelling as strangers away from the comforts of their homes. They could encounter difficulties or face obstacles along the way. And if they were not prepared, how would they be able to deal with the situation? Jesus gave the instruction to take nothing because he wanted the disciples to trust that God would provide for all that he needed. He knew that if the disciples were to do the work of God, God will take care of them. He would not abandon them nor leave them alone in their struggles. Jesus wanted the disciples to share his love and the peace of God through their actions and words. He told them to cure the sick and to teach the people about the goodness of God so that they would let him into their hearts. And when the people saw the goodness of the disciples and accepted Jesus, they in turn would treat them with kindness and generosity and provide the disciples with a place to stay and meals to eat. In that way, the disciples' needs will be taken care of by those who accepted the love of Jesus. Jesus also knew that the disciples might meet people who would be unfriendly or unkind to them and reject God's message of love and peace. His instruction then was to leave them to face the consequences of their choice and to go elsewhere. Today, we are called to be like the 72 disciples. As followers of Jesus, we need to take his love and peace out to the people we meet today, just as the disciples did so long ago. Not only that, we must do so trusting that God will provide for all that we need as we carry out his mission. We might encounter people who might not want to listen, but that is okay, because we have at least tried to plant the seeds of God's love in their hearts. We can pray for them that one day they will encounter God for themselves and the seed that we planted will then germinate and grow. 
when people are touched by God's love and accept Jesus in their lives, they too will share that with others. Just like when we receive good news, we will want to share the good news with others so that together we can celebrate with one another. Today, we are called to be that good news to others. Let us take a look at this short video to see how you can be good news to others. I hope you have enjoyed the video. In it, you saw that it was lunchtime at the school and the students are taking out their lunchboxes. A boy finds that his lunchbox is empty and perhaps to avoid embarrassment, he asks to leave the class and get a drink of water. A while later, when he comes back to his seat and was ready to put away his lunchbox, he realizes that it was heavier than before. Curious, he opens it and finds it full of food. He looks around and then understands that his classmates had shared some of their lunch with him. The video clip ends with a message that translates to Solutions are often closer than you think. God's solution to the little boy's problem was the group of classmates who chose to give without asking for anything in return. They did not declare that they were the ones who contributed their share of the lunch. They did so quietly and with much love. Indeed, if every one of us can share the goodness of God with one another, and especially to those who need it more, then we can become the solutions to a number of the world's problems today. If we choose to be considerate in the things we do, we will not cause inconvenience and unhappiness to others. If we choose to be patient with those who are slower in doing certain things, we will not react in anger. If we choose to say kind words to one another, we will not need to fight and argue with our siblings, parents, friends and neighbours. We have been called to share the love of God to others. Do you choose to not do anything and just let those around you remain ignorant of the wonders of God's love? Or do you accept this invitation and be the good news to others, knowing that God will look after you on this mission? The choice is yours. Thank you and may God bless you. <laughs>